Ahmed Shaddai? Eh, nagagawa nga ng vocals for Christ. No, even the charismatic groups are doing it. And you cannot do that. And I would say, even priests and religious Jews, you can do the same. Because even if you're priests and religious Jews, you have something. You have something. You can you put 10%. Para sa iba. So even if we are poor, we can always put 10%. It's not necessary. Ten percent lang naman yun. Yun na. Don't think of the ten percent. Think of the ninety percent that you have. Think of the ninety percent that you have. So we need to study the people. Huh? It depends. Mas hindi para sa iyo. You can put that in the common fund among the catechists. Okay. And those who are in need, you can give to them. Mag-aaral. You can put that in the church. You can put that in the Bordo ng Pinoy. You can put that in Caritas. Whatever it is. But it's not on your mind. There are many people who are in need. Diba? So, that's very concrete. Ang dali magsabi ng communion na po yun niya. You can even do that. Let's talk about po yun niya. No? It's just a castle in the air. Now, the whole group of those who believed were of one heart and soul. And no one claimed private ownership of any possessions. But everything they owned was held in common. With great power, the apostles gave their witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great grace was upon them all. There was not a needy person among them. For as many as owned lands or houses, sold them and brought the proceeds of what was sold. And many people were attracted to them because they saw how oh, they cared for each other. Try to note this, huh? this passage. It's three verses. Three verses. This is 31, uh, 32, 33, 34. 32 speaks about how they shared one soul, one heart, no private possessions. 34 speaks about no needy person because they own lands, they sold and give to what was sold. 33 speaks about the power of the witness of the apostles and many grace upon them all. But this is about material sharing. This is about material sharing and this is the effect of their material sharing. Their, the testimony was strong. The testimony to the resurrection was strong. There was grace on them all because of their material sharing. This is called concentric style in the Bible. This is A. A is verse 32. This is B, verse 33. This is A prime, verse 33. concentric circle. Magkapareho ang A and A prime and the result is B. There was great power in their testimony. There was great grace because they shared with one another their material. You know, people don't see the grace but they <coughs> see your share. They receive your share. Okay? So, mahalaga yung text na yan. However, when we are starting for unity, this unity is always there. It's always a great thing. And in the early church, they also experienced this unity. Yes, we were told the ideal community and we were able to reach an ideal community. 
No? But then, that is also the threat. Among the religious, they're able to do that sharing. No? Kaya nga walang uh, everything in common among the religious. But bakit religious na? Sana lahat yung gano'n. So this unity, constant threat. First Corinthians. And Paul wrote the letter to the Corinthians because of, their, of the disunity in them. For it has been reported to me by Chloe's people that there are quarrels among you, my brothers and sisters. What I mean is that each of you says, I belong to Paul, I belong to Apollos, I belong to Cephas, or I belong to Christ. So, nakakapagkakpangka. Uh, I belong to the Paris priest. I belong to the assistant Paris priest. I belong to the former Paris priest. No. Ang ating hati na siya. No, that also happened in the, uh, in, uh, uh, in that, uh, in among the Corinthians, the Christians in Corinth. So there's this disunity among you. And still, another problem. And not only that, when any of you has a grievance against another, do you dare to take it to court before unrighteous instead of taking it before the saints? May problema kayo. You go to the court and the judges are pagans and they judge you <coughs> as Christians. Can you not solve that among yourselves? It's already a problem that you have problems among yourselves and still you bring that to the pagans to settle your problems? But does this not happen also in the church? Yes. No? Problema ng pare sa obispo, mag-aakusa sa supporte. No? O uh, among members of the same group sa supporte, mag-aakusa. No? Can you not solve that among yourselves? So then also these problems of disunity. No? In fact, to have lawsuits at all with one another is already a defeat for you. Why not rather be wrong? Why not rather be defrauded? No. But not only are you not willing to be defrauded, but you defraud others. Hindi na kayo, ayaw niyo nang madaya kayo, nang dadaya pa kayo. So to have lawsuits at all is again still part of the problem. No. Now, there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit. There are varieties of services, but the same Lord. There are varieties of activities, but it is the same God who, act who activates all of them in everyone. To each one is given manifestations of the Spirit for the common good. So, bakit nakakagulo? Because you don't accept that people have different gifts. But those gifts are coming from the same Spirit, the same, the same Lord. We don't need to be all the same. So, nakaka-inggitan. Or different ways of doing things. Is your way the only way? Why don't you allow others to say their own way? It's serving the same Lord. And there, kasi mas magaling ang region of Mary. Kaysa si WM. So, nakaaway-away. Okay, so, uh, remember, there are varieties of gifts. God is raised. He's, uh, he's generous with His graces. And let us not uh, be, um, uh, let us not be envious and let us not be, uh, have a lower respect because we don't have the same gifts. Kaya, ano yung formula for unity? For koinonia is love. In that renewal, there is no longer Greek and Jew, circumcised or uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave and free, but all, but Christ is all and in all. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, Clothe yourselves with compassion, 
kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Kaya ang problema natin, yung mga virtues na kulang tayo. That's why if you want to preserve unity, if you want to have koinonia, clothe yourselves, isuotin yung compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. And put on love. So that you can have that communion. Kaya hindi madali. Yet the virtuous people, natalong naman natin, maraming problema, pride lang. Maraming problema, lack of patience, napasigaw ka agad, or lack of forgiveness. Di ba? So these are part of the problem. So the solution is there. And that's true for the family, that's true for the BEC, that's true for any small group that you have. So, one solution is love. Another solution is humility. Because as I've said, many sources of disunity is pride. So, Philippians 2, 3. So, ang dami pa na nating mga passages na pwede yung gamitin. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit. But in humility, regard others as better than yourselves. Let, let each of you look not to your own interests, but to the interests of others. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. That he humbled himself and became. So analyze natin. Ang problema natin ay selfish ambition or conceit. May ambition kasi no, na maging head, na maging presidente. May ambition kasi but another one is regard others as better than yourself. Bumok sa min ako yung ato yung pinakamatanda dito. Dapat ako na. Dapat ikalang ako. I old already. I more experience. Nakapag-aral ako, nag-aral ako sa Lasal. Masalista na ako po. Oh, so yan. At ay and, and, and each of you should not look for your own interests. What do I get out of that? But look at the interests of others. Hindi mas madali sa akin. Hindi mas mabuti sa akin. Sabuti sa iba. And have the mind of Jesus. Which is humility. So marami na tayo yung mga virtues dito. No? Do not be ambitious, selfish ambition. Not be God others better than yourself. Look for your own interest, not for your own interest, and then have the mind of Christ. So, marami ito yung makukuha dyan. Ephesians 4. Making every effort to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace, there is one body and one Spirit, just as you are called to the one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all, through all, and in all. So, this passage tells us that there are many things that bind us together. Yes, magkaiba yung ugali natin, magkaiba yung pinanggaling natin, magkaiba yung galing natin, but the things that bind us together are more than what separates us because there is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of us all who works through all. So isipin natin, hindi yung nagkakahiwalay sa atin. Not the ideas that separate us, but the many things that bind us together. This is the reason for our point of view. And people will believe that we have one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one love, because they see that we are one. Okay? And Peter, finally, all of you have the unity of spirit, sympathy, love for one another, a tender heart, and a humble. 
maganda, a tender heart, and a humble mind. Tender heart, and a humble mind. So, may mga formula na dyan, no? In the Bible, how we can think about the beauty. Okay? Maraming salamat. Okay, so let's have the break now so that you can have time to reflect over your questions. And when we come back, we have a question. One thirty po tayo, exacto. Excuse po, yung lunch po ay sa Brother Andrew Gilding sa 6th floor. Oh, 6th floor. Wow, thank you.